you would have been forgiven on May 23, 1995, if you had failed to project greatness for a slender 25-year-old losing pitcher in a 10-0 California Angels victory over the New York Yankees. But following a stint in the minors for that young man by the name of Mariano Rivera, he came back a new and improved pitcher. Rivera began the 1996 season as the setup man to closer John Wetland in the unconventional role of a two-inning setup man. Though Rivera did pick up his first career save on May 17th against the Angels, Rivera would emerge with his first championship that year as the Yankees defeated the Atlanta Braves in six games in the World Series. Rivera gave up just one earned run over 13 and a third innings in the postseason. After Wetland departed the Yankees the following offseason, Rivera seamlessly transitioned into the closer's role, turning in a 43 save campaign with a 1.88 ERA. But the 1997 postseason would give Rivera his first taste of failure on the big stage. After giving up a game tying home run to Sandy Alomar Jr. in the eighth inning of game four, the Indians went on to win the game and then the series with a game five victory the following day. But the 1998 season would mark the beginning of a Yankee juggernaut and Rivera was yet again the solidifying force at the back end of the bullpen. Following 13 and a third shutout innings in the playoffs, Rivera put the finishing touches on a Yankee four-game sweep of the San Diego Padres in the World Series. Sweeney grounds to third. Brocious fittingly with a throw, and the Yankees have done it again. Number 24. They are the world champions of baseball in 1998. The Yankees won a staggering 125 total games as they celebrated their second World Series title in three years. After the Yankees made it back-to-back -back sweeps in 1999 with another triumph over the Braves, Rivera and the Yankees went for the three-peats in 2000 as they took on the crosstown rival New York Mets in the Subway Series. With the Yankees on the doorstep of another title, Rivera took on Met slugger Mike Piazza in the ninth inning of Game 5, who represented the tying run. <laughs> franchise history, they are the world champions. Rivera was now a four-time champion, and his status as the game's preeminent closer was unquestioned, thanks in large part to his trademark pitch, the lethal cutter. In 2001, Rivera turned in a then-career-high 50 saves as the Yankees once again landed in the World Series. But the man who had gained a reputation as a postseason assassin was dealt perhaps the most devastating setback of his decorated career. Two on, one out, and Womack in the right field, a hit. Here comes Cummings, it's tied. Going to third is Bell. Tony Womack delivers, it's 2-2. Game seven of the World Series, bases loaded. And Salas digs into the plate, and a little scooper. But the aftermath of that crushing loss showcased Rivera's tremendous resolve as he quickly put that failure behind him and continued to dominate. In 2003, the Yankees and rival Red Sox were locked in an epic Game 7 extra inning affair in the ALCS, and Rivera locked down the potent Boston lineup with three scoreless innings. It'll be a 1-1, Rivera deals, swung on, popped him up in the infield. Jeter taking charge, Jeter near third, makes a catch, End of inning. One and two, two out, top of the 11th, tied at five. Here's a pitch from Bo Swing. Adam struck him out. Strikes out two of the three hitters he faces in the 11th. Nothing across for the Red Sox as we head to the bottom of the 11th. Game seven. Just minutes later, Aaron Boone would send the Yankees to the Fall Classic with a walk-off home run against Tim Wakefield, though the Yankees would fall to the Florida Marlins in six games. In 2004, following a new career-high 53 saves for Rivera in the regular season, the Yankees were three outs away from sweeping the Red Sox in their ALCS rematch. But Rivera would blow the save that night, as Bill Miller's game-tying hit sparked the Red Sox' historic comeback as Boston stunned the Yankees in seven games to capture the pennant. This would mark the start of a slight period of decline for the franchise, at least by their own recent lofty standards, but no such concerns apply to the team's ninth inning man, who continued to mow him down. From 2005 to 2008, 
Rivera compiled 146 saves. Though the Yankees missed the playoffs in 2008 for the first time in Rivera's career, he provided one more special moment in franchise lore, recording the last ever save at the old Yankee Stadium. That's a fair ball. In 2009, Rivera earned his long-awaited fifth World Series ring as the Yankees ended an eight-year championship drought by defeating the Philadelphia Phillies. Beginning with that 09 campaign, Rivera had 121 saves over a three-year span with sub-two ERAs in each season. On September 9, 2011, Rivera would officially etch his name in the record books. Rivera sets and deals. Strike three, ball game over, Yankees win, and it's perfect because the greatest closer in history now has the most saves in history. With 6.02, he moves ahead of Trevor Hoffman, and he stands alone atop the closer mountain. Remarkably, now at 41 years old, Mo was actually getting better with age, and it seemed nothing could slow down the indestructible closer. But on May 3, 2012, the injury bug finally caught up with Mariano Rivera. Prior to a game in Kansas City, Rivera's knee buckled while shagging fly balls as he fell to the ground in severe pain. It was a season-ending torn ACL for Rivera, and even worse, there were fears that the injury could prove career-ending. It's more mentally than physically. You know, you let just the team down. He happened for a reason, and uh, just have to deal with it. Mo, do you think he'll come back to pitch again? At this point, I don't know. At this point, I don't know. Uh, we have to face this first. But Rivera eased any concerns of an inglorious end to his Hall of Fame career by stating that he would come back in 2013, while also announcing it would be his final season in the major leagues and thus began a season-long farewell tour for one of the most revered, respected, and popular players the game has ever seen. The 2013 All-Star Game was played at City Field, and Rivera was clearly the star attraction, as the game's greatest talent showed their reverence for the retiring legend at his final Midsummer Classic. Stadium in an all-star game. Mariano Rivera was out on that field all alone. These other all-stars staying off the field and leaving the spotlight to Rivera. Throughout the season, Rivera was showered with retirement guests from opposing teams and was routinely cheered by fans who had watched the Yankee icon break their hearts so many times over the years. Perhaps the most inspired gifts came courtesy of the Minnesota Twins, who presented Rivera with the Chair of Broken Dreams partially constructed of bat fragments as a nod to Rivera's trademark cutter, which was responsible for countless broken bats. Many teams also made charitable donations to the Mariano Rivera Foundation, which provides opportunities for underprivileged children and teens in Rivera's native Panama. While his on-field talents have made him a superstar, it is Rivera's off-field humanitarian efforts which have made him a hero in the eyes of so many. On September 22nd, the Yankees held Mariano Rivera Day at the stadium. With rock legends Metallica on hand to perform Enter Sandman, Rivera's entrance music since the 1999 season, the franchise showed their love and appreciation for the last player to ever wear number 42, which was promptly retired by the team. And even though the number 42 has already been retired throughout baseball, it is only fitting that today, Mariano Rivera's number 42 takes it rightful place alongside the litany of Yankee greats who have had their numbers retired. Ladies and gentlemen, number 42. Days later, on September 26th, Rivera made one last trot from the bullpen to the mound at Yankee Stadium. And after recording the second out in the top of the ninth against the Rays, a scene for the ages was about to unfold. How's this for drama?
just perfection. Wow. Tears and cheers. That gentleman didn't think he was going to get emotional when he saw Andy Pettit and Derek Jeter come to get him. Everything came to the surface, Ken. Yeah, it did. It was, quite simply, a perfect ending. Rivera's career officially came to a close on September 29th at Houston's Minute Maid Park, though he did not appear in any of the three games of the series. Five championships, 13 All-Star games, and a major league record 652 saves. But those numbers only begin to reflect the greatness of Mariano Rivera. Displaying dignity as a competitor and grace as a human being, Rivera set standards of conduct and excellence which many will aim to emulate but perhaps no one will ever truly duplicate.